Hello, this is Christophe Duquesne. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about the very unusual uh, physical modeling engine which is behind the spring sound, just to explain the very first parameter you need to know about. So we're going to talk about these parameters. Uh, so spring sound is based on four different springs. So you've got four of them here, and the main one is here, uh, the, which is called the main spring, and we're going to talk mainly about it. Um, First thing, the, what you need to know is that uh, the, the mechanism be behind is based on the calculation of forces. So you've got seven forces, about seven forces for each of these springs, and uh, it's going to be calculated for each sample. So it's, uh, the spring sound uh, runs at 88.2, so double sample rate, and so uh, seven forces for each uh, spring. That's going to be about four, 30 uh, forces if you take into account the coupling forcing between springs. So that, that's all about surgical things. Uh, now, the main parameter here is going to be the mass. The mass, it says how heavy is the spring, so if you have a heavy mass, it's, you're going to have some inertia and uh, lower nuts. So, I've got here, this here, and I can give more, uh, more mass. So, I need to kick a little more the heavy mass. So, you can hear the difference here. And then you've got the... the oops, you can hear the spring forces, which is the callback force of the spring. So you can hear. And you've got the friction. So the friction is the way, uh, how fast the, 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 the movement, the, the, the motion of your spring is going to be stopped. Okay. Uh, from here, you can add some additional uh, effects. For example, you can to use impact strain to kick the main spring. So you decide how uh, uh, high the, the hit is going to be by uh, tuning this collision here. And then from here, you hear that the collision impact spring is not tuned, but you can decide to tune it here. That's one thing, uh, but if you come back here so to the uh, for first uh, parameters, you can decide to also have an activator who is going to to be kind of signal that that is going to use to move the spring. The very the, the first one is so the main spring. So for it, this is without activator, and uh, oh sorry, just take the uh, squ square uh, signal and ha add some pressure, and you can hear. And if you tune the mass here, you can see it's going to act a bit as a filter. Okay, now let's go to the second spring, which is the resonator. So the output of the main spring is going to be fit inside the resonator. So if I manipulate the values here. So that's mainly adding or suppressing some harmonics. And you've got another friction, which is static friction. You know, if you put a, a solid on, on the surface, uh, if uh, you give some angle to the surface, so solid won't slide immediately, you will need to have a certain force to start uh, sliding. So this is a static friction. So you can hear the scratching you get from the static friction. The static friction is based on these three parameters. So if this one is up to zero, these two other ones are useless. But so you can hear the differences between all these different values.
Okay, so this is all for this first uh, small tutorial about spring sound synthesis. Uh, we could also talk about the size limit, the bouncing, the feedback, uh, the, the reverb, uh, the stability and so on. You've got a very comprehensive documentation inside uh, spring sounds. Uh, if you go there, so you've got everything which is explained. So you will find back some of the explanation I've just given with some drawing explaining how all this work. So feel free to read the documentation and of course you can be back to me if you want some additional details. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in some additional video about Spring Sound. Bye bye.